lots of music. What's up, you two? Welcome to Niger Guy Reviews and your boy Ugo. We have a well Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, and this is the sixth iteration. So we're going to open this and see what comes in this box and what Samsung has done for the sixth generation of the Z Flip. We're going to see if this is what the switch, if you have maybe like the Z5, the Z Flip 5 or the Z Flip 4. Uh, maybe you have the regular bar phone like the S um, series and you want to make the switch. Is this going to be worth it? Welcome to the channel, please if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so that we can, you can be notified whenever I upload videos like this. I am a, sm a small channel and I am trying to grow so your likes and your subscriptions will really help me a lot and thank you for all the folks that has subscribed. Now let's move up to this unboxing. Alright, so let's see what comes in this box. Um, Alright, so as you can see, this box has become as minimalistic as the possibility can get this thing to be. It's very, very slim and it barely comes with anything on the inside. Like, always that's not a surprise because samsung and all these big flagships have been doing this for quite some time now so i don't think we should be talking about this anymore anyway the normal thing that comes in the box is a type c to type c um cable and you have some quick start um guide and Let's see. All right, let's put that to the side. And then of course you have your same adjustment, you know, pin right there. Nothing else is in the box. So now, all right, this is the phone. This is the yellow um, color. It looks very, very beautiful. It looks nice. Let's at that is a beautiful color so peeling this off oh oh it's nice and then the front ah so with this open I mean, this is a beautiful de device. It is now more squared off. It is beautiful. It, the sculpture is really, really nice. So this, looking at it this way, you won't even know that it is a folding phone. It looks like a regular bar phone, but except you can now fold it. So, which is very, very nice. All right, so with the phone, Powered on, you're welcome to the easy setup screen where it allows you to bring in all your um, contacts and um, data from your old phone to this one. So we're going to skip that because we don't need to do that. And of course, connect to Wi Fi. Let me type that in. All right, so we are in the phone, finally. Now, as you can see, this is a beautiful device. And what is new for 2024? I mean, I did review the, um, Z4, the, the Z Flip 5 and looking at that and looking at this, um, I don't really think there is any much of a difference. Um, well, 
the gap has been minimized. Um, it's still the same. So let us look at the look up the spec of this phone. Well, the first thing we want to check is the camera. This is a nice camera, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's a Samsung, so nothing has changed. The selfie is pretty nice as well. All right. It does take beautiful pictures, even with the um, inner screen um, camera. So what does this phone have? What is new for 2024? I don't think this is really new, but um, the dimension is now 165.1 by 71.9 times 6.9 millimeter. So the phone is 6.9 millimeter and when folded it is 14.9 millimeter so this is not that much bigger than a regular phone folded and also you would think that this is a regular phone like i mentioned earlier when it is unfolded but the good thing is that it can fold so um So this is um, 6.7 inch uh, display for the interior, for the inside uh, display it is now 6.7 inch. And then you still get your regular um, 3.4 inch display on the outside. So this is definitely very, very usable. Um, you can use it to toggle the camera and take a beautiful selfie with it. So. You know, with Samsung, you can just do that. And that is, that is nice. That's a beautiful selfie because it now uses all the um, cameras, the main cameras to take a beautiful selfie. So um, on the inside, AD, I mean the outside uh, resolution is still 1080 by 2640 um, pixels and you have your um, super amoled display at 600 i mean 1600 nits it's running android 14 one ui 6.81.1 so it is the newest um one ui of course you get a um, memory uh, internal storage of 256 gigs um well you also get one 12 gigs of RAM and you have uh, so the 256 gigs of storage gets you 12 gigs of RAM uh, you also have a 512 gigs um, hard drive with also a 12 gigs of RAM so the good thing about these devices now is that the lowest storage that you can get for this phone now is 256 gigs so when you think about how far um, we've come in storage um, <laughs> devices you can see that this has gone come a long way so 256 gigs is actually a lot now for the cameras we have uh, a 50 megapixel um, main camera you have uh, um, another 12 megapixel um, camera on here so you have both a 50 megapixel and the 12 megapixel uh, but on the z fold the difference is that there is a ultra wide camera on the z fold so basically what this flip is is an s24 ultra or the latest um s series but in a folded um, form factor so um the question that people really um, want to know is that do you compromise anything coming from a bar phone and going to you know a flip device or a full double device like this but i think that with a um a flip phone with this z flip you don't really compromise a lot because you still have a pocket fitable device 
that you can just throw in your pocket and then when it's unflipped or when it's opened you still have a big display i mean the screen size the screen length is pretty tall for what it is but you know it is something that you get used to easily i know one of the concerns that people have is um the crease when you unfold when you open this phone and i think with samsung being on the sixth generation by now i would have you know thought that i mean you would think that they would have you know figured out how to make this thing to be very very minimalistic but i mean for the for the crease not to be as visible as it has always been but i mean i guess samsung doesn't care anymore they just make it but this is waterproof um it has a uh, i mean you can take this thing uh in the water and you won't have any issues um you still have a 4000 mah battery which is non-removable you have uh um, the charging on this thing you have a uh, 25 watts charging for the wired and 15 watts charging for wireless and you can also this being a samsung you can use this for reverse wireless charging at 4.5 watts uh, you can charge charge your watch you can charge your headphones i mean your galaxy buds and you can charge other phones with this thing so which is pretty nice um it's a good device so you're not really compromising a lot by getting this phone if you're coming from a bar phone but it is one of those where you know you either uh, love it or hate it but i think that you will love it you know coming into getting something like this it does take some getting used to um if you haven't used any um of the flip devices then i think this is something that you would enjoy um i think this is a good time to get into the flip and foldable devices um if you haven't used any of them in the, in the past so this is good it has good storage it has great cameras it has a uh, um you know you're not gonna miss anything getting into this device and of course um it is the latest qualcomm um snapdragon 8 gen um you know you're gonna be fine getting something like this so but now if you have a z flip 4 or 5 is it worth the switch into this device i'll say no the only um well not the only thing but one of the good things uh main things that samsung has done for these things are uh, is the ai features so you now if you see all the commercials that samsung has they have incredible ai features they have a uh, translate where you're talking to somebody directly on your language and it's translating to their language so they have fixed a lot of things uh, they have uh, you know the chat features on this thing is incredible so this is definitely this is an ai powerhouse but i'm pretty sure that with the um with the flip 5 or flip 4 i believe that there will be updates coming in to those ones that will also give you the same kind of thing but i don't know if they are built for that but if you have those phones i think you should wait before getting these ones this is a good device to get it is nice if you're coming from like maybe a flip 3 or so but i don't think it will be worth the switch to be honest so i think you should wait they haven't really done much there hasn't been too many changes on here to warrant the switch if you have a uh, an older generation when i actually have a z flip 3 and um a z flip 5 laying around somewhere and i can tell you that coming from a z flip 3 to a z flip 6 then that is a significant change then you should do that but from the 5 to the 6 no don't do it uh as much as it's a beautiful device it is still you know a z flip 5 with a um a newer uh internals with newer upgrades and uh, you know all these other features but that's just my opinion let me know what you think about this phone um, do you have this 
uh, do you, are you intending on buying one of these? If you already have one, let me know in the comment section how you love it, uh, what your concerns are. Let's have a conversation. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that we can keep growing this channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.